Yo, what is up, everyone? Um, and it's gonna be talking about the new roulette, new roulette guardian. Um, I'm gonna try to be as transparent as possible, or communicate myself as best as possible. I'm a little bit tired right now, so. But anyways, I'm gonna do my best. So, um, in this roulette, we got a couple new things actually, or at least I think a couple new things. The first new topic of discussion is Sakura Envoy, the new Guardian. Um, obviously one of the better Guardians in the game. I think the best Guardian in the game for me personally because I like Coercion. Um, at Heart X, it gives 5% Coercion, 1% Awaken bonus. So that's basically 6% Coercion. For those of you who don't know, Awaken Attribute bonus is 1% of... 1% of all your advanced stats attributes, so tenacity, indom, heavy, coercion, penetration, break, etc. So those all go towards that stat. Um, so yeah, basically you, get 6, you can get 6% coercion from this guardian alone, and that's actually pretty broken if you guys don't know, but yeah. Um, this is one of the best guardians in the game, however, I'm not going to get it from a roulette, probably. I think that if I get a Glory Heart, I'd probably get Themis, Themis or Bloom, probably. Mostly, mostly Themis though. So yeah, yeah, very good card though. I mean, very good uh, Guardian though, the best card in the game. But the difference is that Guardians can potentially be added into dice, whereas Transforms have never been added into dice, and very rarely have been added into other um other events. So. Um, yeah, that's my thoughts on that. Um, next, they added, they, let's scroll down. I guess I can show you guys the outfit box. Um, I'm not a, I'm not a very big fan of the outfit, I'm sorry guys. Me personally, not for me. Not my style. That's just me though. Everyone has their own opinions on it. The hairstyle, I just kind of like it. People have told me they don't like it, but I kind of like it. Um, but I guess it's to each their own. The hairstyle is solid though, in my opinion. Um, Lantern Knights aren't worth it because, uh, Rank 9 could potentially come. Stigma Codex Book 2s are the best option, in my opinion. Um, I believe this is new, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is new, at least I personally haven't paid attention to it. But Orochi Sarger here, you can get 5, um, a roulette. Um, so you can get a, a, an Orochi for, um, 6 of hearts, and... I'm not gonna lie to you guys, Orochi's a fraud. Orochi right now is one of the worst guardians in the game. Um, if you wait patiently, you, it'll probably you'll probably be able to get a protest stains, and um, in in dice. So yeah, I don't I don't think that these Orochi shards are worth it in my opinion. Neither are the Battle Angel shards, but that's just my opinion on it. Orochi's heart. I think this is actually slightly better value than Orochi Shard, but I think it it still isn't worth it at all. Six fancy hearts is too much for me personally. I'm sorry guys. Um Crystal Queen Heart, Battle Angel Heart. Not worth it either. Um moving down the list, Imperial Cat Zhao's Heart. Um it's decent if you have the if you have the if you're in the place to get this, you can get this, but if you're not in the in the right area to get this with like um all your stigma books maxed all your mech chips maxed for those of you who do those all your stigma codex max i wouldn't i wouldn't work on um i wouldn't work on that so yeah um then going on the list let's see what let's see what else we got um as you guys all know uh i think i've talked about this before headwear strolls wherever they are hold on i can't even find them right now Headwear Saga Scrolls is one of the best things that you can get in this event. Um, there's basically no reason not to get Headwear Scrolls, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, unless you have four Headwear Sockets, these just like some good value. Because there's not really that many options for the big yellow stars. Um, so you get, so what I like to do is get Headwear Sockets. And then when I get Headwear Sockets afterwards, I'll go up and get Stigma Codex 1s. Um... Um, some people can still buy Star Sand, but I feel like if you're at a, if you're at Spirit 15, 18 accessories, then Star Sand might not be worth it for you at that point because um, 
Accessories are very expensive at the current um, time, and this is like one and two, one and a half enhances, if I remember correctly. But I probably don't, so because it's been a while. But um, I don't think the star sand is that worth it anymore for most people. Meteorites are all right; they're not the worst, actually, in my opinion. Um, but meteorites is like do it your own will. I feel so. Anyways, that's my thoughts on the roulette, guys. Um, I think the new guardian is good. I can't wait for it to be in dice. Kind of funny that it's like. I, it's in real life, but I waited for it to be in dice, but, um, that'll be all. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.